Good morning, it's Debs at Doodle Dash. I'm just going to show you how to mix a glaze using um, a mix of paint and finishing coat from Frenchique. So I'm going, I need a black glaze to go over um, a project that I've painted in Constance Moss, the lovely olive green. Um, but I want to finish it off with um, some black detailing. And the way to do that is to mix about 50-50. It's not scientific. Um, none, none of my mixes ever are. Um, but you just literally mix the paint with the finishing coat and it will just loosen it up and give you a little bit longer to work with it. So what I'm planning on doing is um, painting over the Constance Moss. I'll leave it for a minute or so just to let it start to dry and then um, I will wipe it off with a uh, wet cloth and I will show you later how that looks. Uh, now this is still a little bit thick so I'm just going to add a little bit more in. As I said it's not scientific. Just have a play until you get to a single cream consistency really. Um, and it's just loose enough then to be able to put onto your project, um, you know, pretty much just slap it on and then you just leave it and then wipe off the excess and it sits into all the details um, and just gives a slightly different definition to your project. Okay, I'll be back later and show you what I've done. just taking off the excess glaze here and you can see how it sits down into all the nooks and crannies and just gives the um, detailing a little bit more depth and dimension and it's just toning down the um, the green beautifully just to make it a little bit darker too just sitting in all the details there Okay, so I've added the glaze to the constant moss and now I'm going to stain the top using exactly the same method. So I'm going to open up the grain by just spraying with water. I need too much, but it just opens the grain up to accept the glaze easily. So I'll just leave that for a minute or so just to soak in and then I'll get the glaze on. Okay, so I've just mixed up a bit more glaze. Um, the water that I sprayed on the top has soaked in. Uh, that's just opened up the grain slightly. So what I'm gonna do is just loosely pop some on. And this just soaks into the grain of the wood. basically going to act like a stain so it will tone the blondness down and you put it on I've already dampened this cloth and then you just wipe off the excess and you can see how that's going to sit into the grain and give it that ashy tone that will work really well with the black glaze that I've put onto the base if once it's dried um, you need it to be a little bit darker, then you just put another layer on and it'll be all beautiful at the end. 